Hello everyone, this is Lillian here and tonight I'm gonna be making a makeover on Kelly Whispers and uh, she's asked me to do kind of an evening look for her so we are gonna be making her very beautiful and to start with I always uh, comb back the hair so that it doesn't get in the way of the, uh, the makeup and stuff. So we're just gonna do that. Okay, so Kelly has very long, thick hair. I'm gonna start by brushing it. And make sure to comb it all the way back here so that no baby hairs or anything can get into the face. So we have the hair all back here. And do you have an elastic? Okay, here it is. Thank you. So what can I do now is try to tie the hair back. get all of this gorgeous hair. going to be doing a little knot in the back and I think it looks good. So what we're going to be using now is a cleansing water to get rid of like old makeup. So I'm going to be using this. And just going to be gently doing this all over the face. Because if you want to do a good makeup, you need to have a clean canvas. And you can only get this by, by removing the old makeup. Okay, so I'm going to do a bit on the eyes. And if you're doing this on a friend or whomever, sure to be really careful around the eyes since they are very sensitive especially the skin is very gentle or uh, you need to be very gentle with it so can you open your eyes for me and look upwards so we can also get underneath the eyes and in the corner of the eyes basically get rid of any unwanted stuff. Okay. So now that um, Kelly's face has dried off a bit, we are going to be using a primer. And this will basically keep the makeup long lasting and gives a more, you know, flawless look. 
so that the uh, foundation will be even uh, better and have more even coverage. So I'm just gonna take a small amount in my hand and work it around a bit. I'm gonna start tapping it on the face and you don't need a lot. Get a long way with a little bit. Best thing you can do is just tapping it. Don't try and drag it across the skin too much, as it will only create premature wrinkles. And to be fair, none of us want that. Okay. So, let's let that sit for a bit. I'm gonna find our. Um, this year we need foundation and we need uh, this is eyeshadow base. Um, where's the concealer? Oh, there it is. <laughs> so um, I have concealer from Mac, which is our next step towards perfect evening look. Um, so this is a uh, long-lasting concealer from what I can tell and we're only going to be using it on around the eyes right here and on the basically you know the t-zone on the forehead and the nose and around the mouth. Taking a small amount to start with. I'm gonna just put little dots in the beginning. It will look a bit silly, but the result is gonna be beautiful. Okay, those are all like dark areas, like around the nose and the chin. I'm just going to be using the warmth from my own fingers to blend in the product. I'm just going to move in a circular motion here. nose just gonna put a bit on the eyelids just to cover up any uh, veins you can have on the eyelids that can make your eyelids seem transparent If you can look up for me, you can see it. Thank you. I'm going to put it under the eyes where you're also using the tapping motion. And make sure not to like go too fast with this step because it's really important to blend in order to have, you know, the, a good look for the skin. Because to me, like, 80% of a makeup, or makeup that looks good, is based on the skin. That's at least what I think. Okay, so, I'm gonna go under this. <laughs> I 
are slowly blending out towards the cheeks. So we're done with the concealer and now we're going to be moving on to foundation which is also from MAC and is also a long lasting foundation so you need this much maybe just a tiny bit as you can see And this I'm also going to just warm up between my fingers to make the product easier to work with, basically. Make sure you have clean fingers when you do this. To blend it out a little better because sometimes when it's um, long lasting it tends to be a little thicker so there's a little layer in the way okay i'm gonna be using a bit more here Now I'm going to be blending it towards the jawline. So that you have that transition in the makeup. Instead of, you know, stopping right here, we're going to go further. over here so just gonna do it under the eyes a bit can you look up front I'm going to be putting a bit more concealer in the red just to cover up little blemishes, uh, whatever you might have.
Now we have the fourth step of the skin um, routine. We're gonna be using the a pressed powder just to set everything in place so that the makeup doesn't go anywhere, it stays where it is. And we're going to be swiping it down the T-zone, across the forehead, and stippling. Across the cheeks, jawline, and nose, just to take off a little the shine. I'm not going to be using too much because mattifying the face completely can also look a bit you know, too thick. So, going for a strikingly gorgeous look. Alright. Okay, and I'm now going to be using a uh, bronzer just to highlight and contour the sides of her face right here. Um, cheekbones and on the other side and also a bit here on the forehead just to give it that sun-kissed look okay I'm just gonna start off with a little and see how it goes Take it all the way up to the hairline so that it, it looks more natural. Because you don't want people to notice that you're wearing makeup, but you just want them to see that you have beautiful skin. So. And it on the other side as well. Brushing, brushing, brushing. And I said, use some in the forehead as well. Because this is where the sunlight will hit you. But not a lot, so. Gonna be using a little bit on the nose, the sides of the nose. I'm gonna be using some around the jawline as well, just to make it seem more, uh, to make it stand out, you know. Um, now, uh, I've just uh, been doing Kelly's hair here, which is going to contribute to the look. So, uh, I have three braids, and I'm going to do like a sideway ponytail. 
So now we are ready to move on to eyebrows and the eyes. So the first thing I'm going to be doing is using a cream color base. And this one is in the color pearl. And basically you just take a bit on your finger, kind of heat it up, and start to dab it on. So this will create the base for all our eye colors we're going to be putting on. And you only need it And I'm going to start um, focusing on the eyebrows, which I'm going to go for just basically uh, contouring in the natural brow shape that we already have. So I'll start from the face and work my way out. to fill in the sparse areas. So you can already tell that there's a huge difference between this eyebrow and this eyebrow. It basically frames the eye a lot better. be doing the same thing for the other eyebrow. And the uh, other side, the other side of this uh, pencil is actually highlighter. So I'm going to go ahead and use that under the brows to give them a lift. I'm also going to be using it in the inner corner of the eyes to kind of make them pop. And so that the look is like a bit neat. The same colors are being used a few places. So just a quick take it a bit more into the eye. And for the rest of the look, we are going to be using a Sleek's palette uh, in Una Travel. 
uh, which features a lot of uh, beautiful brown tones that I think will fit this perfectly. So, picking off my sorting brush here, which is just going to be using this for the lighter tones that we're going to be putting um, out here in the outer corner. And basically, we're going to be building up the color. So, what I'm going to start off with is a color called Honeycomb. I'm just going to be drizzling this on the, the outer portion of the eye going into the middle. Other eye as well. The thing what you're doing is when you're working with different uh, shapes or uh, different tones is that you're building up uh, structure and depth in the eye instead of it having a flat look. So the next color is taupe. We're going to be building it on top of the other color that we just had. It has a beautiful sheen look to it. Now we're going to start working with more of the darker tones and I think I'm going to start with a um, mineral earth which is a lot darker but when you start blending it it will look really amazing just focusing on the outer corner blending it into the crease We're going to do the same thing with the other eye. Basically, the crease is where the eyeball stops and goes kind of into the like into the socket eye. And this is your guideline that tells you when you need to stop. Uh, you cannot color beyond this point. And if you prefer, you can also use your fingers a bit for blending or take some of the product off on your hand. Take away some of the color and you can blend it in. So far so good, uh, and now we're going to be using another brush. This is a bit more angled, so it's perfect for doing uh, the under portion of the eyes, which I'm also going to be using Mineral Earth for this. So just look up for me. I'm going to be placing it underneath here. So it kind of connects to the upper eye. If 
you have any fallouts, you can simply take a little brush. I have a fan brush, and this is perfect for that. Kind of remove anything that we really don't want on there. And we're just going to be fanning this wheel, so... So let me see how far we've come. What we need. I think we might actually go for a little bit of black. And this is just a noir on the palette. I'm going to be putting it directly into the outer crease. And only blending very little. Do the same for the other eye. And now we're just uh, evening out the edges. I'm just gonna be blending them a bit. Just move back and forth with your brush. And also on the other side. Kind of thin it out so that it gets like that feline look. So that's it for the sleek palette. Now we're going to be moving on to uh, giving Kelly a little bit of the eyeliner on top of her eye Give the illusion of fuller looking lashes when we're gonna put that on. Just uh, close your eyes. So now we have two steps left. This step is uh, mascara. And the last thing we're gonna do is add a gorgeous lipstick. So, uh, it's too hard. Just wanna like look down like this. Like, thanks. Exactly. So moving up from the lashes, do kind of like a wiggle motion to separate them and make them longer. And 
I'm gonna do the bottom lashes as well. So if you just look up for me. Now I'm going to do the other eye as well. Make sure to wiggle the brush if you can. And the lower bottom lashes. So, last up, we have a lip gloss from MAC, which is in the uh, Incognito. It's a shiny lipstick. It will still add a bit of color to the look. Now our makeup look is complete. So uh, thank you guys so much for watching and see you next time. Bye bye. bye.